Hey everyone, I wanted to go ahead and make a second video and talk about one of the things that we mentioned in our first vlog, which is Turner Syndrome. As I stated in our first vlog, I was diagnosed at the age of 19. So I wanted to get some more information so I can answer questions because not a lot of people know about Turner Syndrome. So what is Turner Syndrome? It is a chromosomal condition that only occurs in females. It actually occurs in one out of every 2,000 live female births. What causes Turner Syndrome? It's caused by either the complete absence or partial absence of a second X chromosome. The, a normal female has two X chromosomes and a Turner's female has either one X chromosome only or just one X chromosome and a partial X chromosome. Um, and when this occurs, it occurs either right before conception or soon after conception and it's actually not passed on from either parent so mom and dad y'all got out of this one um, how is it diagnosed it can either be diagnosed before birth through an amniostasis or um, after birth it can be done it can be diagnosed by a, a blood test a karyotype blood test what are some of the common traits that a female Turner's patient has um, very short in stature, typically under five foot, and if you know me, you know how short I am. Um, web neck, mini moles, uh, lower low set ears, a receding lower jaw, a broad chest, flat feet, arms that turn um, outward at the elbow slightly, um, kidney, liver, and thyroid concerns. And I do actually have a few of those. Um, I do take thyroid medicine daily. What are some of the common conditions that a female Turner's patient may come across? Um, delayed puberty, heart defects, puffy hands and feet, infertility due to a non-functional ovary, um, hearing loss, and again, kidney, liver, and thyroid concerns. Um, Reoccurring ear infections, learning difficulties, scoliosis, and sometimes social difficulties. And I got a lot of my information from the Turner's, Turner Syndrome Society, which I will link their website below. It's turnersyndrome.org. So I hope all this information was helpful, and I hope I at least help one person out there. And so if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye.